You are watching Strip Down, Saskatchewan's only one-hour local music showcase, the award-winning show that brings the venue to you in the comfort of your own living room. I am your host, Curtis Anderson. Big hello to people watching on Shaw TV and Access Communications tonight. We got a big treat for you, all the way from Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Joanna Schluff. <laughs> You are watching Strip Down. We are spending 60 minutes with Prince Albert's own Joanna Schloff. Welcome to Strip Down. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, this episode was a good solid six months in the making. We met during last summer, uh, a little promotion called Urban Star, I believe it yes. was. Yeah. Well, we'll touch on that a little later in the show. But uh, I, I got to start off by apologizing to director Jay Newfeld because I, you were blonde, weren't you, in summer? Yes, I was. Yeah, so he was all excited because there's nothing cooler than lighting a blonde pianist from, from behind. So the hair, the hair pops, but you walk through the door today and 
Burnett. I was like, oh, whoops. Oh, sorry. Sorry. So you can imagine how amazing the lighting would look if you still had yeah. your blonde hair for the, for the people at home. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Prince Albert. Yes. Uh, fan of Stripped Down. Did you know about it before I mentioned it to you? Was it, um, uh, there, there's been a lot of Prince Albert musicians coming through here, so... I've definitely taken interest in watching musical shows, so I'm sure I've seen it at some point in time, okay. but I actually like watched it once when you told me about it, I went and checked it out and stuff. So nice. that's more when I looked at it close, closer. How many opportunities are there to uh, play in Prince Albert? Um, not very many. Like there's like some like search for the stars contests and like some like there's some EA Rollins and stuff. There's quite a bit of like little competitions and stuff and little like places where you can play and I always play around the campfire like all the time and like <laughs> I, I, I guess with the musical family and stuff so yeah. so so many things to talk about suddenly <laughs> uh you brought your family with you which is really cool mm -hmm. we you for once have a studio audience that's the uh, biggest complaint we have of musicians that come on the show is they're like who am I playing to? There's just walls, but yeah. you actually brought a uh, built-in built-in audience to play to. So <laughs> yeah. Close with your family? Yeah, pretty close. Nice. Yeah. And and a musical family, you said? Yeah, they're all pretty musical. So yeah. growing up, what was what was it like? Um, well, I don't know. I would always listen to my dad playing guitar, and I was like, oh, I want to play guitar. And then I learned how to play it. And my mom played piano, and I just I basically just taught myself as like they inspired me, and I just like taught myself. Was, was it stuff. inspiration or pressure to, to be oh, a musician? Oh, inspiration. Oh, it's nice. all like my choice to do it and stuff. Can you remember moments or a moment growing up where, you know, you kind of mentioned watching your dad play, but do you remember like a specific moment where you're like, oh man, give me a guitar. I want to try this. <laughs> when everyone was just like, oh, Dave, that was so awesome. And all that song means like a lot and it's meaningful. And I don't know, I was just like, man, I want to play. And it sounded good. Like I liked music, so... Uh, Christmas just came and went. Yeah. Are you one of those families I'm jealous of that, you know, all the big holidays just turned into a big jam? Is that, is that what Christmas is <laughs> yeah, like? Yeah, we around, pretty much uh, turned it into a big jam, yeah. yeah. And you mentioned playing around a campfire. I guess all the uh, provincial parks are right up there. <laughs> well, so like, at home, we live out of town. So, yeah, when we have, like, people come over, sometimes they'll light a fire and play around it and stuff. That's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to put you on the spot. How old are you? I'm 18. Okay, so almost old enough to play the uh, the the bars and stuff. Yeah. So do you feel that's going to open a lot of uh, doors for you? Oh yeah, definitely. As soon as I turn 19, that's what I'm doing. So. Yeah, you're gonna take the act on tour or stick in PA? Um, I definitely. I know I'm moving to Saskatoon next year, so I'll probably really? play in some bars in Saskatoon next year and stuff. And. I'm guessing um, university. Yeah, university. What are you going into? I'm thinking I'm going into nursing, but who knows, I might change my mind. <laughs> I guess. So yeah. currently grade 12 in PA? Yeah. All right. How's that going for you? It's going good. Yeah? Yeah. Pretty, I like Carleton. It's a good school. Okay. Uh, first song we played tonight? Um, that was Battlefield. What's I, Battlefield about? Um, it's just about basically just like how the people like not getting along and like just wishing that the world could be a little bit of a simpler place. It's not really about anything too specific. It's just, I wrote it. Try Like every song I write, I try to make it so that lots of people can relate to it, so. People not getting along sounds like. Yeah. It's, it's very relatable, yeah. especially at a high school level. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, again, lots to talk about tonight. I wanna to ask you about, you know, CDs and how people can get a hold of your music and the various contests. And we'll talk about Urban Star, which is actually airing on Shaw TV finally but uh, we should probably get to song number two all right what is what's next um I'm thinking I'm gonna do as the night turns today it's okay. a brand new song that I wrote like two weeks ago wow yeah that's impressive and we <laughs> threw you off your game plan a little bit because you were gonna go guitar piano guitar piano yeah and when but... you're when you're hooked up to everything it just <laughs> it's, it gets complicated on the set of stripped down moving all these wires back and forth so thanks for Thanks oh, for switching no it up at the last minute. You've been no rolling problem. with the punches here. <laughs> it's not going to change the sound of it, so it's all good. All right, good. so this song again is? Um, As the Night Turns Today. Ladies and gentlemen, Joanna Schlupp.
Watching Strip Down with Joanna Schloff. That song again was. Um, the, as the Night Turns to Day. <laughs> and this is a brand new song. Yeah. But yeah, to, to me, when you're 18, every song is a brand new song. But <laughs> this is like a really new song. Yeah, really new. Like, uh, I started writing when I was 15. So, like, most of them are pretty new. Like, I don't know. Like, I just like singing newer songs because I get into them easier, I find. Okay. 
We'll yeah. talk about the writing process after the first commercial break. Stick around. We have lots more stripped down coming up right after this. Mr. Sicily Pizza and Pasta is proud to sponsor community programming on Shaw TV. Mr. Sicily, located at the corner of 51st and Miller in the north end of Saskatoon. 975-0345. The following sponsors are proud to support local community programming on Shaw. Long and McWay, 721 43rd Street East, Saskatoon, 244-0509 or online at long mcquadecom Altimo Euromoto. Two hundred four Third Avenue South in downtown Saskatoon, 664-6640. Do you know where your tap water comes from? It can come from one of two sources, groundwater or surface water. Surface water often begins as snowfall that accumulates in the winter and melts into our rivers and lakes. Cities will treat it to get rid of most of the impurities and then send it down the pipes, under the streets and into our homes. The problem is, the quality of water is being damaged by our activities and as our earth warms up, there may be less water available in the future. How can we look after our water resources? Find out where your water comes from and how it is being protected. Use less when you're showering, brushing your teeth, or watering your lawn. And never pour toxins like cleaning solutions down a toilet, sink, or storm drain as it ends up in our rivers and lakes. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? Watching Strip Down. Joanna Schloff in the Shaw TV studio tonight, coming all the way over from Prince Albert. How's it going? Have first segment done. How do you feel? Good. I am good. impressed by your confidence. We honestly don't get too many uh, 18 year olds. Oh, really? Stepping up to the plate and doing a full 60 minute uh, music show. So, good job. It's a great opportunity, I think. When I met you back in summer, yeah, your confidence really stuck out. Oh. There was a lot of musicians there, but you, I mean, it was, it was an urban star contest mm -hmm. so I think they were looking for mostly urban musicians at the beginning then they opened it up to just any sort of musician mm -hmm. and you kind of stepped up with your acoustic guitar and you you looked more out of place than I think you felt and I, I really admired that because I was like wow she just got up there and did her thing and you know, I think there was like beatboxers before and after you, but you were like, no, I'm just going to rock first, the acoustic like, guitar. As I was walking up, I was like, oh, like, <laughs> but then once I was up there, I was like, just smile and wave, like, you know. <laughs> Do you remember the song you performed that night? Um, I sang, what was that? Yeah. Um, oh yeah, You Will Never Be Mine. I sang that one. Okay. It was my first one. And then I sang Rolling in the Deep by Adele. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just... You, you stuck out from that. I wasn't really part of that contest in any way. I was just working crew. Oh, okay. It was kind of a like co-production that Shaw was doing and it was going across Canada. And when it came to Saskatoon, it was like, oh, for sure, I'll offer to be a camera <laughs> op. I might find some, some acts who would be perfect for Strip Down. And well, I found one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so yeah, your thoughts on that day. Again, you, you were applying for Urban Star, but Mm -hmm. I wouldn't really classify your music as, as urban, but no. you, you just went up there and did it, and it was, it was a good time. Oh, yeah. What do you, what do you remember looking back? Um, I remember being super excited for the first song, and then I remember waiting all day when I got the call back, and I was like, oh, I really want that ticket, and then I got really nervous, and I, I was pretty nervous, but it, it was a great experience. I had a lot of fun. Like I love doing music, and... Mm -hmm. Even if it's competitive and stuff, I still just find it fun. Like you, you play competitive quite a lot. Just the the little research I was doing about you, but uh, <laughs> maybe we'll talk about that after this next song. Okay. So now we sure. slid over to the piano. This is cool. It's the first time I've ever done the show from like the artist's chair. I'm kind of getting you know the vibe. Maybe I should start playing guitar along with you, but no, I, w I won't do that to you. So okay. we slid over to the piano. What's uh, what's the song called? Um, this is called Invisible. Invisible. Yeah. Take it away. All right. I'm invisible I'm invisible 
camera guy uh, Jesse in that shot who wasn't invisible but you probably met him last week he's he's leaving our crew in a, in a couple of weeks to go travel Aww. go see the world again and then when he comes back he's packing up and going to uh, BC to go to school so it was kind of uh, one of Jesse Gordon's last episodes Aww. I know it's sad but on a happier note <laughs> it's time once again for our weekly segment called the contest <laughs> That little graphic package never gets old. Okay, it's week three of the contest. Uh, last week we put in some stuff from the Broadway theater, including uh, a couple passes to anything you want, a limited edition Broadway t-shirt, and as we were talking about Jesse Gordon a second ago, uh, there was some, some controversial moments of our first ever stripped down awards show last September where Jesse Gordon kind of walked away with the trophy thinking he was the winner. So we actually have that trophy that he stole. He signed it and put it in here. And of course, from week one, uh, where is it? This thing's deeper than it looks. We have $100, and yes, this is a napkin, but it represents a real $100 bill. So, if you want to win, before I get to this week's edition, if you want to win, all you have to do is go to the Strip Down Facebook page, make sure you like it, and then go to the contest in the uh, photo section. It'll bring up 
15 or so pictures and just leave a comment on what you think was our most iconic moment so far in the first 140 episodes we've done. Uh, the season finale coming up in June, we're going to put all the names of everybody who's left a comment in a big drum, swish it around, and pick one name, and they're going to win everything that is in this bucket. We're adding new prizes each week. So this week, we're going to kind of go back in time to another uh, epic moment of the show. For the first, long-time viewers will remember, for the first three or four shows, we had a fancy clear with Red Rocks fish bowl hanging up behind us with a real fish in it. And that fish's name was Serenity. And then one sad morning we came in and Serenity had passed. And that's probably because the studio used to get about minus five in here at night. But you learn as you go. So anyways, in honor of Serenity, we're going to bring a picture up here uh, right away. We are giving away a brand new unopened Square fishbowl. It's kind of the coolest thing. You can screw it on your wall and then you take it off and it's just this fancy. There's a picture of it right now. Square fishbowl. Brand new. So that's prize number three. So again, check out the Facebook page and uh, make sure you like us and leave a comment and then you're entered. It's that easy. Joanna. Yes. I wanted to talk more about you uh, entering contests and how fearless you are, but I, I feel <laughs> we're running heavy on time. So we should probably get to your second piano song. We'll take a commercial break. We'll come back. I'll be out of the artist chair. You'll be here. I'll be back over there. It'll be back to normal, and then we'll talk some more. All right. That last good. song uh, was fantastic, by the way. Invisible? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Next song before we take our second commercial break. All right. What, what do we got? Um, it's called Listen. Listen? Yeah. I feel like I did a lot of talking there. Thank you. <laughs> take it away with Listen. <laughs>
Joanna Schluff. That was beautiful. Thank you. That was absolutely beautiful. What was that song? <laughs> Called Listen. Called Listen. Yeah. Uh, again, I want to touch on your confidence that I talked about before this, uh, this last song. Uh, in 141 episodes, I think we've only had maybe two or three other musicians that were, can I get this right, multi-instrumental. Did I say that right? <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's the correct term or not, but, you know, people that come, either it's guitar or piano, very, very few, like maybe three or four episodes have done both. And here's 18-year-old <laughs> Joanna willing to uh, come on and give it your best shot. So before we take our second commercial break, how much time do you spend practicing? In gr grade 12, you think you're, mm -hmm. uh, you know, doing other stuff, but yeah. you, you probably put well, a lot of hours practicing. Like I definitely go out on the weekends and stuff, but when I come home from school, I definitely play a lot. Like like sometimes when I go down there, I've been down there for up to like 5 hours and I'll even come back. <laughs> like if it's just like a Sunday and I'm bored and like so the yeah. The basements where you, where oh, you yeah. hammer all the stuff out? Yeah. All right. And I just practice for like hours and hours. Like I just love music. Like it's like a passion that it's like my passion, I guess. We have to gear up for our second commercial break, but stick around. We have lots more from Prince Albert's Joanna Schloff coming up right after this. Hey, I'm in the Schloff rooms. All right. <laughs> natural things on Earth and how they interact is biodiversity. From the microscopic to the mighty. From the smallest body of water to the coldest. From underground to the highest ground. When biodiversity is rich, we can count on the natural world to produce the oxygen we breathe, filter and purify the water we drink, and grow the plants we rely on for food and medicine. Due to human activities, biodiversity is being lost faster than nature can replenish it. So let's do what we can to help preserve biodiversity. Create natural spaces and plant native species. Take part in a wildlife survey. Get out and experience Canada's amazing variety of wildlife. And that's just a start. To learn more about biodiversity and how you can help protect it, visit hww.ca. Mr. Sicily Pizza and Pasta is proud to sponsor community programming on Shaw TV. Mr. Sicily, located at the corner of 51st and Miller in the north end of Saskatoon. 975-0345. Just know that today I gotta walk to walk away. Just can't 
We're spending 60 minutes with Joanna Schluff. Let's go back in time to July, I believe it was, last July. Urban Star. Again, it was a kind of a co-promotion between Shaw TV and an independent producer. They went all across Canada, stopped in all the major centers, and held auditions trying to find the next Urban Star. So, again, I offered to do camera as part of the agreement because mm -hmm. I might meet some people who would be good on the show, and that's where we met. Mm -hmm. And again, I looked at you and thought, I don't know if you're going to win Urban Star, but you'd be perfect for Stripped Down. So made the made the connection after the show, and I said, ah, you know, you're you're only like 17, 18. You, do you have eight original songs? And you're like, I've got dozens of original songs. I was like, <laughs> awesome. So the date was set. You're here. And then when I was uh, Googling you today, trying to, trying to get any sort of background information on you, not only were you an urban star, you're also in The Next Big Thing. Yeah. What is that? It is a competition that Mosaic Music hosted. And um they just like get people to go up there in different groups i think there was like a songwriting group a singing group and i think definitely songwriting is my better half so i went into songwriting and i went up there and i played um piano and sang a song and the i guess the winner got a two thousand dollar cd like oh, okay they to, got towards like a package yeah yeah is that a, an annual thing or was that a once it was the first time they did it so i hope that they do it again because i really would love to make a cd and they are expensive so mm -hmm. it would i would definitely use it so you're not one of the people that just wants to do it at their basement though no i want to like i want to go out and play for people and i want to make cds and, mm -hmm. and you want a physical copy yeah that's, I a, that's a conversation that. we usually have on the show because there's some new artists that just can't be bothered. It's all online and <laughs> iTunes, but yeah, you know, I, I grew up with physical. CDs and I like having physical copies. You're you're yeah, you're, you're there. Yeah, I think that would be so cool. And there was something Taste of Prince Albert. Is that what it was called? Yeah. I was I was going through. Yeah, you played. You were part of a duo or something or. Taste of Pre. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I went in with my friend Marissa. That day was horrible actually because it <laughs> rained for our like we had an hour slot and I swear to God it rained and then it stopped right right after our hour. It wasn't meant to be. I guess. But I, 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 so. but I was running through the other names and I was like, okay, Kevin Arcand, he's been on the show. Matt Remenda, <laughs> he's been on the show. Nonsense. I saw them in the other yeah, video too. Uh, so let's 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 touch on the music scene in Prince Albert. Mm -hmm. I never. I always have this conversation with our acts that come from Regina, because obviously we get a lot of acts from Saskatoon, a lot of acts from uh, Regina, and I ask about how the musical community is in Regina. But it suddenly dawned on me today. You know what? There's a pretty, on my end, anyways. It looks like pretty strong musical community in PA. Oh yeah, like some like lots of my friends even do music and I'll just be like, wanna write a song? Oh sure. And I used to be in a band and like there's definitely a lot of bands out there too and like I don't know, like Fresh City is from PA, if you've heard yeah, of that. Yeah, Fresh City. They were involved in, in Urban, Urban Star, Star and last year. That's how year. I found out about really? Urban Star. Yeah. You networked through Fresh City. Well they they <laughs> just told me, he's like, I think you should go in it. So I was like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, we, we're burning through time, so we should get to another song All before right. we take our last commercial break. But first, female influences. I was looking at your Facebook page again. You said you liked Lady Gaga, which makes sense. But then you I forget that <laughs> you, you you threw me for a curveball because your quote was from Marilyn Monroe. Well, I don't know. Like, I definitely think role like my f female role models right now. Like, our, I think Adele did very well in, like, um... Yeah, she came out of nowhere, at least for... Yeah. If you, if you didn't follow her before, like, suddenly she just was on the radio about a year ago and didn't leave. Mm hmm Like, I remember, uh... What's her, her piano ballad right now? Uh, oh, was it? Uh, it was like, is it the super sad one? Yeah. And it's like, someone like you. Someone like yeah. you. Like, I can remember listening, hearing that song on the radio on the way to the lake last June, mm -hmm. and it's still... Oh, yeah. On regular rotation, yeah. like that's a that's that's a popular song. Is it's we're, we're coming and up to like seven months. That's why I liked months. her so much because she just came out of nowhere and just like flew right up there. Mm -hmm. Like so, I was like, wow, like that's good. And her voice is unique. Mm -hmm. So awesome. All right, let's get to uh, this third last song. Okay. This lo the song before our next commercial break. What, <laughs> what, what's next? Um, it's called Slow, and it's a song that's a little more upbeat, actually. But it's called Slow. Yeah. I see what you did there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see why. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Joanna Schlaw. You'll never teach me to drive.
Schloff, a little more of an aggressive song there. Yeah, <laughs> thought I would switch it up. That song again was called? Um, slow. Slow? Yeah, because so right you... at the beginning it was, you'll never teach me to drive slow. So. Nice. <laughs> I'm guessing you do the majority of your writing and stuff in the basement. Yeah. Where you kind of disappear to after school pretty much Definitely, each day. Definitely, yeah. So how, what, how, do you, how do you prepare yourself? Do you just sit down? Like, Do you usually write for keys or do you usually write for guitar? Does it just happen? Um, it just, I, like, I'm always happens. expecting a process. Really? No, 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 one ever, no one ever tells me there is a process, but I always expect in my head that, you know, they're going to sit down, hmm. it's 5 o'clock, I'm going to well, start at middle C and then just see what happens, but no. Um, just... Well, I guess every song has been different. Like, there's been some songs where I just, like, I always record when I'm making a song because then I can listen back and, like, think, oh, I like this and I don't like this. But, like, there's some songs that I've just recorded, just flat out, just played them and kept them right as they are so but then there's some that have taken a lot of work like this one took a little more work because it's like out of my usual kind of writing i guess your comfort zone we said a little more aggressive yeah people wanting to get a hold of your music you said you were trying to uh get some money to make a cd so i'm guessing you don't currently have a cd no i don't have currently have a cd it's quite a long process yeah. I guess and like I know the last song I did it was hang in there and I did it through sweat like songwriters education and training oh I remember that okay. good job <laughs> I know and then um I so, thought you were gonna do like the blood sweat and tears thing you know like it was just so hard to do it but no. you went in a different direction <laughs> yeah. it was an acronym okay yeah but yeah like it took like um the government like paid funded I guess some of it I don't know that's what he was saying I think and it came up to five hundred dollars, I guess. Plus, it was like eight hours or something. It took forever, so it'll be a while, probably. All right, we have to take our final commercial break, but we finish up with Joanna Schloff, all the way from Prince Albert, coming up right after this. Mr. Sicily Pizza and Pasta is proud to sponsor community programming on Shaw TV. Mr. Sicily, located at the corner of 51st and Miller in the north end of Saskatoon. 975-0345. The following sponsors are proud to support local community programming on Shaw. Long and McWave, 721 43rd Street East, Saskatoon, 244-0509 or online at long mcquadecom Altimo Euromoto. Two hundred four Third Avenue South in downtown Saskatoon, 664-6640. Memories we cherish, moments captured in time. This is Matthew Halton of the CBC. Hello, Canada and hockey fans in the United States. Mark Peterson is a specialist of the music popular. Le hockey des Canadiens. You know, I heard they were taking on guys to the cannery next week. Just when we leave. Do you remember? How could we forget? Jay-Z. 
time in this fair land when the railroad did not run. Ah, ça sentait, c'est And all Paul Russell. But him now? Our mum got a seize to keep us from biting our toenails, eh? Mr. Lebec, have you become a simple? No. Canada's recorded treasures help keep them alive. Ladies and gentlemen, Joanna Schluff. Watching Strip Down, we are wrapping things up with Joanna Schluff. Did you have a good time? Yes, I did. Again, thanks for thanks for coming down from PA and doing the show. Thanks. That was another beautiful song. Thank you. You're moving to Saskatoon next year. That's the plan. Yeah. When does uh, cutting a CD fit into your 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 plan? Is that on the horizon, or is it just when I it happens, it happens? This summer, I'm gonna try definitely to make some progress in the next summer i know like if i like when i go into nursing it's going to be hard to fit that in in the school year but yeah. like in the summer definitely okay so the cd comes out have you kind of got idea of how many songs which songs Are you start to put that all together yeah i want like i want a full cd like i want like 15 songs or 16 something like that okay. all right so the cd comes out in the liner notes who do you think um 
I would thank my family. I would thank pretty much everybody, like my family, my friends, the people that have Probably supported me. Probably can't thank me. everybody in the liner notes unless you, you know, fold it up. But. Well, <laughs> well, like everybody comes into play, like all the, like all the judges that like give you constructive criticism. You're supporting people and the people that say, you know, that wasn't good enough. That like it also it makes you grow as a performer too. So like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, really quickly, that last song you played was your favorite song, your feature song, or did you? We, we mixed up the order right yeah. before we started. And I, I like usually <laughs> I usually tell people to play their best song second last out of the last commercial break. Did you do that or did it? I forgot. Okay. <laughs> I just followed the list. Nice. <laughs> so my favorite one is probably is the last one. Best for last. Your favorite one was the last one we it's just played. It's gonna be the last. Is oh, it's the last song. Ones. Okay, it's Screwed coming up. up. Words. <laughs> really quickly, then tell me about your your favorite song before you play it and we bail out of here. All right, um, my favorite song is called "Hang In There," and it's a song that I wrote for a friend that was going through a really hard time and stuff, and it, I think it, like it meant a lot to her. And I, yeah, I she she would she was like considering of committing suicide, I guess, and. I won't say any names, but yeah, and so I wrote that for her, and that's kind of why it's my favorite, because it actually, like, means something, you know. All right. Before you play it, uh, again, thanks for coming down. We have to thank our sponsors, Longham McQuaid, Ultimo Uramoto, and, of course, Mr. Sicily Pizza for all things stripped down. Hit up our uh, stripped down Facebook page, and, again, like us, enjoy the contest and all that. And sorry, Joanna, for all uh, information on you. Where do people go? online if they want to find you oh, find your songs um, um i have a youtube channel and it's under joanna d ify the ify was a typo and i just didn't, <laughs> didn't fix it nice. <laughs> and um then if you want to go on my facebook page you can just type in joanna d and my both my real facebook and the fan page will show up and it's me playing a guitar and it's black and white picture awesome it was a pleasure. Thank you so much. Thanks. For the last time tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Joanna Schluff. Thank you. You're welcome. I can try to inspire you. I can try to change you, but in the end it's all up to you, but I hope that at least one thing gets through to you.
interviewing style is not the best. His personal appearance is not the best. Coming up this week on Strip Down, we got a brand new episode coming all the way from Prince Albert, Saskatchewan. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Joanna Schluff. <laughs> 